So when we talk about IoT and AI and anything connected, really, to the internet, you're not going to get answers from consumers to their needs and their right. problems. They're just going to tell you, I just want it to work. Yeah. Right? You really need to observe and see how are they using that. We stop thinking like a, an operator of the network and more of a connectivity manager. We're going to enter a sea change too, where walls are made of you know paper thin LED everywhere, yeah. and you know broadband and all that. It's going to have to be smart, and it's going to have to have an AI intelligence to know that I'm standing online. Show me a short form of this. Right. I'm sitting in my chair. Show me a long form. So we're entering a world where things are going to have to be contextual. You have to learn, as an example, that over-the-top video service, Xfinity Stream, for his example. You have to learn on what physical infrastructure that's being served because again, it's virtual really when it's going across. So AI is understanding and learning those relationships. It's correlating across all of those service layers and it's understanding when I push over here, this is what the impact is over there. Those aren't labeled. There's, there's, it's a mesh that changes almost instantaneously. And so AI is helping us learn the relationship between those different service layers so we can automate. Until we understand across the entire uh, uh, disparity of those layers, you can't automate because you're automating without understanding how it could impact something else. Right. We recently launched a, a Gen Z study and one of the th things that we saw really interesting is that Gen Z have a very different perspective on privacy, very different than uh, previous generations. Yeah, it, it doesn't really exist. Clearly, Gen Z is disrupting the marketplace in that they are the primary driver behind the convergence of the media, telcos, and the tech companies. For them, content consumption is all about hyper-personalization. They want a unique, engaging customer experience focused on things like convenience, high-touch services, simplicity, and ease of use. At the end of the day, what you're really talking about is you're not connecting things, you're connecting people. And they're either connecting people to people or people to things, maybe someday things to things. <laughs> and so we've made a decision as an operator that we have to own that entire experience from our core network to the actual access point, mm -hmm. to the endpoints, the people's devices. And if we don't, right, and then they're going to choose some other alternative. So companies now have a unique ability to get a picture of their customers, not just from the data that they collected before in their backend systems, but all the data that represents how customers behave from the IoT data coming off of their home, mobile data coming in through 5G, social data, unstructured data, text, sound, everything is all now possible to be understood so we can get a 360 view of any customer, but more importantly, help them predict and prescribe what to do to improve customer experience, customer loyalty, customer conversion, um, with really more data and better insights.